hi guys in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to create this human plant portrait with photoshop stick around watch as i create this magic this photo i do takes a lot of practice nah don't sweat don't panic i'ma break it all down now now the idea is for us to inculcate nature into art and we're going to achieve this by using the masking technique in photoshop but first there are two things we need to have in mind we need a very good image of a plant and also a very powerful image of a model i'll be using the snake plant for this one the snake plant is easily my favorite house plant and this is because i just get to water it once a week it's of low maintenance it doesn't stress me and that's why i get to do this plant artwork for the snake plant god i don't know what that means the second thing we'll need here is a very powerful image of a model for this one i'll be using a lady with her hands on her chin and her eyes half closed almost looking like she's in a trance i find this posture very striking as it depicts what it is that i want to really portray in the artwork and also notice that i'm using a side view of it because that fits the art direction that i'm trying to go with i think that's that for that without further ado i mean this is the part where i say that right yeah okay let's get into photoshop all right now that we are in photoshop first thing we want to do is to open up a new document next we want to set our width to 1080 and our height to 1350 the resolution remains 300 and we'll make this a 16 bit we're going to be using 16 bit just so we avoid banding when we're using the gradient background now we give a document a title and that's it the canvas is ready now let's place our image in the canvas. Great. Now after placing our image in the canvas, we want to quickly give your image a title just to keep it tidy. Cool, now let's reduce the image a little bit. We do this by hitting Ctrl T or Command T if you're on Mac. This is to activate free transform. The next step is for us to separate our image from its background. We do this by going to select and then we click on subject and we allow Photoshop do its thing. It's like an AI in Photoshop that automatically selects the image for us and then we can mask it. Perfect. Now next thing I want to do is to convert this into a smart object. I want to do this so I don't lose the property of the image whenever I am increasing or reducing the size of the image in Photoshop time to bring in a snake plant i think this is the fun part for me now it's time to get into the interesting part but first we have to explain the concept of masking masking an image in photoshop is quite easy all you have to do is to set your foreground to black and also your background to white and then you want to set your opacity now we're doing this with the opacity because we like to make the um plants blend into the skin of the model so we'll be setting the opacity to 70 and the flow will be at 75. Now let's reduce this a bit. Once again, to free transform your image, you hit Ctrl T or Command T if you're using the Mac. Now let's flip the image vertically. Okay, cool. What we want to do now is to resize and adjust the image to fit the hand. We'll first treat the hand first. Now we'll place it just like that carefully, yeah? Now we have to zoom in closer just so we can see what we're doing clearer. okay i think this works for now okay now it's time for us to mask out the edges of the plants basically what we want to do is to have soft edges so it can seamlessly blend into the end of the model now let's look again to see if all our parameters are checked black foreground is checked the white background is checked our brush is soft now let's get into masking click on the mask icon make sure the brush is active and then we start clicking the edges just like that we keep clicking the edges okay that's it it's looking like it all right and for this part that we're losing we'll have to go back and select the inverse of the foreground and background we'll make the foreground white and then the background would have to be black just so we can reveal parts that we need back into the plant
that's it so far we are looking good but i think we need to fix this part of the hand uh yeah we need to fix this part of the hand okay now we carefully click the edges like this with this brush selected make sure your brush is very soft the idea is for us to have the the plants seamlessly blend into the skin of the model it's looking like we're heading somewhere with this let me reduce it just a little bit just a little bit i think that's a better placement there good all right time to bring in another plant bring that in yeah place it in there and then we can give it a title yeah let me see this clearly okay and let's convert this into a smart object now we can reduce the plant the size of the plants and adjust it and place it on our head just right where we want it to be just like that great I think this works for me yeah now time for us to mask it out let's check our parameters to be sure that everything is good all right everything is good all right great okay let's start masking out the edges very gently you know we're not gonna be aggressive about it that's the whole concept of the masking here so yeah I knew it I have to resize make it I select everything and then make it smaller or yeah just make it position it great now I can duplicate this now and start positioning it however I want it to be there is no rule to this there's no rule to how as to how this is gonna be placed on our head so it's all subjective so I'll keep duplicating and I'll keep adjusting and keep duplicating and keep adjusting and that's the process here so I may have to fast forward this or I'll just keep talking all through uh, but just follow me follow me to see how this goes oh by the way guys please subscribe to my youtube channel hit the like button and click on that notification bell have it on so whenever i drop a new episode you'll be the first to get it thank you all right so we keep adjusting basically we keep adjusting keep tweaking it keep turning it keep doing all that just to fill up this part of our body with the plant so she can become that plant goddess the snake plant goddess or something <laughs> yeah well, that's the whole idea basically okay now let's fast forward this it's getting a little awkward okay now we are here we have everything looking good but we'll have to work on our headgear and some part of our body that we can still see behind the snake plants and what we're gonna do is to just mask out those parts and take it out so we'll set our parameters right but this time around we don't need soft edges we just want everything to be sharp so we'll just make everything 100% and then we can clean out all these parts we don't need now once this is done we can see clearly or we can see clearer what our artwork is looking like and it's looking like what, what I had in mind to create the snake goddess plant the snake plant goddess does that really matter anyways I have to do a couple of adjustments here again because now I can see better and really this adjustments are just subjective it's it's not mandatory it, you can arrange this however you see fit i just felt like i needed to do 
this adjustment because it wasn't really looking like it for me so just slight adjustment and I think we are good it's looking like it now basically you just keep tweaking and adjusting and once everything is done we can you know rearrange some layers send some of them to the back and once we are satisfied with what we have next thing we want to do is to convert this layer the model into black and white and first we'll change it into a smart object and then we can convert her create a black and white adjustment right on top here reduce in, I mean increase the black a little bit just so she can look more African and it can look more artistic uh, and then next thing whoops what's this no way I was gonna create a gradient background for her but that threw me off <laughs> anyways let's get back to it so we create a gradient background which is gonna be gray gradient basically and we'll just have the mid-tone lighter gray and and then a lighter gray and then a white no this is not what we're doing all right then we adjust this and tweak however we see fit yeah no i wasn't gonna do that adjust and tweak however you see fit and then hit okay we're good this is it now i'm not sure i have to put that in the middle i have to put that in the middle i think we're good let me adjust the plant a little bit yeah like that let's just flip it let's just flip it yes i think this is it this is what i was looking for yeah that is it this it stands better i'm doing this because i would have to put a shadow right underneath her which will be like a base but before i do that i have to like select all these layers and group them and grouping all these layers and i'll name give it a, a name give it a name the model and then i can now convert into smart object that's the snake plant art now we can convert this into a snap smart object then we can open in camera raw open camera raw we just want to add a little bit of contrast and clarity basically that's just it what we're, what we're trying to do here and we're fine maybe sharpen it a little bit and we're good this look fair this look nice I think the last thing now the last thing for us to do is to add a shadow as the base but let's reduce this a little bit first after reducing it then we can create a new layer we give the layer title shadow and then we select our brush the brush will be black oh we forgot to give this a name the background the background layer let's give that his name since we've been trying to keep it clean let's do that to the end now we'll select our brush now adjust your brush because we're trying to create a base in there so we adjust the brush don't make it too big and then click that put that and then we can create another layer but this time around we want the brush to be white because we want the base to be a little realistic so we'll, we'll make it white make it bigger slightly bigger than the the black yes okay this is huge but i think it will work so let's let's try it out great it's looking good looks like it and i think i may need to work on the gradient yeah just to make it a little darker a darker shade of gradient yeah i just just basically adjust the sliders and that will give me what i want this look like it now let's move this up great okay brilliant 
I think I like this. I think this is what it is. Yeah. Let's reduce the shadow a little bit. Yes. Cool. Reduce the brush a little bit. Reduce it. I have to reduce it. Yeah. Ah. Uh, great. Fantastic. This is it. <laughs> I just keep going back. <laughs> That's it. We keep tweaking until we're satisfied with what we have. But I think we're satisfied with this right here. So that's it guys. Save. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. It's my first tutorial on YouTube. So I'll need you to smash that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Dari the Creator. Until next time, peace. As I create this magic This what do I do takes a lot of practice Nah, don't sweat, don't panic I'ma break it all down Now first thing first We place a picture on the canvas Then we gon' separate her from the background Next, we bring in the plant Now closely watch as I mask out the edges Be easy with it We finesse my guy, put down where he go fit We finesse my guy, duplicate and repeat We finesse my guy, oh yeah, that is it now nah, Go ahead with the adjustment, you know Placement of a plan is subjective You keep tweaking until you feel it's perfect And like your ex, you mask up part that ain't working This is fun, control T make we feel transform It's looking like we are almost done Now put the image for black and white, our shadow and we done Alright now, hit the like button Please follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel, peace